Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and shout out to my Adidas family for hooking me up with this brand new silhouette. Super excited. These are called the Adidas Samba Deconstructed and it's in its OG classic color scheme. Let's take a quick CP. <music> unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in today is a really exciting unboxing because this is a sneaker that I was really excited to have in hand this is the first Adidas Samba deconstructed silhouette we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how I sell this classic colorway and then we'll conclude with when these are expected to potentially release and how much they will be going for on the retail market let's jump right into it so for those of you who are fans of this classic colorway for the Samba OG, this is the deconstructed variation. So I actually brought out one of my Samba OGs so you can just kind of see the key differences here. Uh, this is a little bit more on the lower side as far as the cut goes than the OG, uh, which I think a lot of women will prefer. Uh, but other than that, one of the things that sets this one apart is how it's created so the leather material is much higher quality than what we've seen on most of the samba ogs but this actually is meant to bend and fold look at how crazy that is this is like every sneakerhead's nightmare actually doing this to a sneaker but as you can see it's not even leaving a wrinkle or a dent anywhere so this is a very supple leather that they've used and it's very lightweight so as far as like the weight of the two of these this feels like it weighs half the amount of what the samba og weighs so as far as like a travel sneaker this is 100 percent going to be my go-to just because sneakers Sneakers are literally what make my luggage weigh the most, uh, but this is such a lightweight, easy, of course, to pack sneaker because it can be folded. It's not going to get damaged, but it's just a genius concoction. So kudos to Adidas for creating this. This is such a superb looking sneaker and the technology that they've used to make it fold and bend without actually leaving creases is insane. As far as the color combination goes, most people have probably seen somebody on the streets rocking this color way this has kind of become I feel like the panda color scheme for Adidas's Samba OG nice to see it on this deconstructed variation we've got gray for the new box suede on the front of the toe box and that supple light white leather on the front of the toe area and the tongue which is also look at how easy it is to bend this I could do this all day uh, but this is a really cool floppy tongue and that nice supple white leather and then we've got the gold uh, metallic color scheme going on for the branding. Also, I've got it laced up with white laces, keeping it pretty simple and classy. So let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. So wrapping around to the side panels, we're getting more of that supple white leather and then overlays of the three stripes and the smooth black leather. You'll see more of that black leather on the collar. And then again, one of the coolest things about this collar, which I am ecstatic about, is the fact, look at how easily that bends. I feel like you can definitely wear this as a slide as well, which they kind of look cute as a little mule, don't they? How cool is that? 
Uh, the interior is in white and gold, and it's a really nice uh, insole. That insole is actually fully covered in that same leather. And then as we wrap around to the lateral side, that's where you're getting the Samba detailing in the gold color scheme. And the sneaker is brought together, of course, with this translucent gum bottom uh, midsole and outsole. All right, let's take a look at all of those details. As far as size and fit goes, I would say again, stick true to size on this one. The size does not vary. It doesn't feel like it's any different from the Samba OG. Uh, one of the things that I would say though, is that the toe box is very malleable. So my feet and toes just feel like they have a bit more freedom and flexibility since this is so malleable in the front of the upper portion of the sneaker. Uh, so for those of you who have wider feet, I definitely feel like you should try a pair of these just because of that flexibility and malleability ability that the sneaker adds. Uh, but if you have wider, wider feet, you may want to think about sizing up because it is still a bit narrow. All right, so now let's talk about how I styled this. Again, I got some amazing pieces gifted to me by Adidas, so I definitely had to style those pieces with this uh, beautiful color combination. For the first look, I kept it pretty monochromatic with an all-white velour, tra velour tracksuit. All-white definitely has been just a go-to colorway for me, specifically for the warmer seasons. For the second look, I decided to wear these Adidas cream wide leg pants with this really cool mock neck t-shirt that is in a nice cream red and navy tone. final look wore those same pants but this time swapped out the top for a zip up adidas a short sleeve jacket in cream and navy
right, so as far as the release date for the US goes, I'm not exactly sure when these will be releasing in the US. These actually have released in Europe already. Prices are kind of all over the place a little bit. I know the end was actually selling these for around $130. So I expect that price point to be the same when these do officially release in the US. Uh, so that is a little bit higher of a price range than your typical Samba OG, which is around $100. And I think a lot of that has to do with just like the de deconstructed material that they used on here and the fact that it's just higher quality leather used throughout. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you all next episode.